Hey Shalom y'all, it's Fletch. Welcome back to OTH. And what you're looking at right now is my dirty little secret. No, but seriously dudes, uh, this is my chair. And I take this chair with me pretty much everywhere I go. Um, y'all don't see it a lot of times in my videos when I'm out working. And I'm doing different things, but uh, you know, even if I'm helping out, you know, something in our, our community of believers around here, I take my chair with me. And the reason why is because uh, I have hidden pain. And so that's kind of what this video is going to be about hidden pain. Um, due to uh, an accident in the Army, uh, I had my first fusion in 1990 and I've had several more back surgeries since then and you know uh, you know between 25 and 30 years of uh, scar tissue build up and you know scar tissue is one of those things where you know when you go in there and you scrape out the scar tissue because it's becoming a problem and it's becoming painful and pinching nerves and stuff like that it helps for a while, but the problem is that once you scrape out the scar tissue, it, it comes back, and it comes back with a vengeance, so to speak. And so uh, it becomes a uh, self, uh, well, what's what I'm looking for here, a self-prolonging uh, situation where, you know, on occasion you're going to need to have someone go in there and take out all that scar tissue because it starts pinching your nerves. and eventually it can cause permanent damage so you have to do it um, but then once you do it then you know when it grows back it, it becomes even worse and, and yes there are some things that you can do like deep tissue massage and whatnot that will help mitigate some of that but still um, you know it's it's not a cure-all so to speak and the reason why I'm showing you this chair is is because you know, occasionally, right, someone will, will make a, a private comment to me, uh, something something along the lines of, hey, you know, you're saying you're a disabled veteran, da 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 da, -da but you, you don't look like it, right? You know, you're, you know, I, I don't have any outward signs, right? Like, I don't have a, a back brace on that you can see from the outside, uh, different things like that. And so, you know, as, as the, uh, the army used to say, you're a gold bricker or a sandbagger or, or something like that. And uh, <clears throat> so along those lines, <laughs> uh, let's just say, guys, uh, you know, make sure that, that you understand the story uh, before you start critiquing someone or giving them advice. And, you know, you may be all wet, so to speak, your way out in left field and, you know, not have any idea of, of what's actually going on or what the story actually is. And so, yeah, I, and I don't think, I honestly don't think, you know, that a lot of people uh, are intentionally doing it to be vengeful or anything like that. And uh, I'll, I'll also tell you guys that, you know, I was one of those guys. I, I really was. And uh, at one point in time, um, there was someone that was uh, a part of our life. And um, they had been uh, in a couple of accidents, so on and so forth. And, you know, they were all jacked up in pain all the time. And you know, I had had back surgery, but at the time, you know, it wasn't really bothering me anywhere near as much as what it does now. And and so, you know, honestly, I had a little bit of a holier-than-thou attitude. I, I really did, and I hate to admit that, but it's the truth. And, you know, I just, I had very little to no mercy for that person, very little, very little to no understanding um, or sympathy, for that matter, for them. And then once I really started having back problems again, you know, um, probably sometime in the early 2000s, something like that, you know, about 10 years after my first surgery, <clears throat> I had a, a much, much better understanding. <laughs> and, you know, trying to, to be a man uh, of character, right, um, you know, I had the testicular fortitude 
to go back to that that brother and say, "Hey, man, I'm sorry. I I judged you far too harshly in this area. I just didn't understand, you know, this and that one and the other, and I, I asked for forgiveness. And you know, it was hard to do. It really was, but it was something that I needed to do. Um, you know, if not only for me, but also for that other person, because I'm sure that in some ways. I wasn't treating them as well as what I should. And, you know, they needed to know why and they didn't understand why. And so, you know, once I did that, I sure felt a lot but a lot better about it and I'm pretty sure they did too. Having said that, um, you know, be careful in your day-to-day -day travels and your day-to-day -day working with people, talking with people, you know, as the old saying goes, you know, you don't really truly understand someone until you walk a mile in their shoes. And just because you have a pair of shoes like them does not mean you're walking in their shoes, right? <laughs> and so, um, yeah. And not only that, guys, I, and I don't know why it is, and, and yes, I could make assumptions and educated guesses and um, you know, a whole bunch of other euphemisms that sound similar to that but you know the the sad truth of the matter is is that at, at one point in my life uh, I had you know several people that um, you know reportedly love me love my wife and so on and so forth and they had amongst themselves decided that I wasn't really hurt I wasn't really in pain and that you know, basically they were planning a um, intercession <laughs> for me and uh, yeah I'm not gonna get into all the details of it but I think it's it's germane to the conversation we're having here and so anyways long story short you know none of that was true and you know we worked through those problems and issues however um, none of the men that were involved in that had really had any back problems before that. But after that, um, many uh, of them uh, had serious, serious back problems. Uh, several of them requiring, requiring surgery or needing to be out of work for weeks and months at a time, different things like that. And others of them, you know, still having back problems to this day and are going to probably have to have some very serious back surgery. So, you know, is that, you know, reaping what you sow? Is that, you know, uh, um, what's what I'm looking for here? Um, you know, can't think of the word I'm looking for here. Is that um, is that so? Is that the law uh, of sowing and reaping, or you know, uh, your just desserts, so to speak? You know, uh, like like the good book says, you know that that you will, you will be judged by the manner in which you know you're judging someone else uh, in that particular issue, and so you know whatever the case is, you know. Uh, I, I think that uh, all of them now have a, a much better appreciation for, for what it's like to be in pain all the time. And, and secondly, to, you know, <clears throat> to have back pain and the issues associated with back pain. Um, and, and unfortunately, I wish I could report to you that, that some of them had, had the testicular fortitude to come back to me and say, hey, you know, uh, I judged you really harshly on this, and you know now that I'm experiencing this myself, gosh, I understand. Uh, that hasn't happened yet, but you know the Father's timing and all, right? But anyways, I just kind of wanted to share this uh, with everyone out there, and you know have grace and mercy for your brother. You know, not everyone that has hidden pain is faking or a gold bricker, uh, sandbagger. <laughs> Whatever uh, term uh, is uh, popular nowadays, you know, to describe people that are just lazy and don't actually want to work. And so, <clears throat> I'll leave this here. Um, if you think that this video is worth uh, sharing with other people, please share it. Uh, you know, and we always appreciate thumbs up. Thank you. And uh, if you're finding this video, you know, through like a 
uh, internet search or, or whatnot, uh, and you enjoy videos about homesteading and preparedness and tactical gear and stuff like that, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, when, you're, when you're doing that, if you click the bell icon, it will also give you an email notification when uh, new videos are uploaded to my channel. And the reason why I point that out is because when you do politically incorrect videos, <laughs> um, the powers that be at YouTube land uh, somehow magically make your videos not show up in any one subscription feed. So there you have it. Well, guys, thanks again. Uh, if you have any comments or, or questions about this video, please post them below and, and uh, tell me your story uh, of you know someone that you've helped, you know that has hidden pain or the issues or struggles that that you face with your own hidden pain. Thanks again.